the Wii Power Authority will soon add solar energy production to the hydro generation when a 250 megawatt solar PV hybrid plant at Bui is completed in the Banda district of the Bune region. According to the authority, solar energy will be used during the day and switched to hydro during the night. Precious Semivor has more. The Bui Dam, commissioned in 2013, has the capacity to generate 400 megawatt power, but the Bui Power Authority, BPA, is ready to configure other renewable energy source to the hydro to show their capacity. This is in fulfillment of the government's policy of increasing the renewable energy mix by 2030 and also in line with the United Nations Sustainable Development Goal 7 on affordable and clean energy. BPA is thus constructing a 250 megawatt hydro solar PV hybrid plant at the Bui Enclave for a combined total of 650 megawatt of power. Peter Echampon is the manager renewable energy BPA. Ghana government intends to by 2030 have 10% of its energy generation coming from renewables. So Bui as part uh, as an authority within the energy ministry and towards its contribution in uh, assisting government in achieving this uh, percentage is developing solar projects. Our development is a bit unique. What we are trying to do is we are doing a hybrid. For solar development what happens is you we depend on the sun to generate energy. In our case, we are using our hydro as part of our generation, our methodology to serve as a storage. So during the day when we have the sun, we use the solar to generate, and at night, the hydros will, uh, will come in. So we're doing a first of its kind within the sub-Saharan Africa, what we call the hydro hybrid. So that's a solar and hydro PV system to be coupled together. We are carrying out the first phase, which is a 50 megawatt plant. It covers a total area of 200 acres. We are expecting roughly 130,000 pieces of panel to be installed. And the panel capacity is 380 watts per panel. He said they have expanded the existing Bui generation station switchyard to accommodate the additional energy to be generated from the solar farm as they start commissioning of the first phase in October 2020. It has a switchyard with a capacity of 400 megawatts for the hydro. This, so we've just added, expanded the existing switchyard to accommodate an additional 250. So when all is done, it will be uh, 650. We will commission it in phases. So the first phase of the 50 will be commissioning by end of next month. That's a 10 megawatts. And then by December, okay. the extra 40 will be added to make it 50. 50. When that is done, we we'll move on to the second phase. We are doing the phases in 50, so it means we have five of, of, of this. What we intend also to do it, we will spread it. We've already acquired land within the northern region. We have some in Tumu, we have some in Yendi, in Bupe, Sola. But within Bui, we are anticipating to put maximum 250. It will not be on the same side, but it will be spread within the Bui enclave here. Yeah. So the entire uh, 50 megawatts will be around $48 million. Peter Champon also said as part of the first phase, they will construct a 1 megawatt floating solar plant on the Bui Dam's reservoir. Bui has a, a, a reservoir for its hydro generation. A reservoir with a land space of 444 kilometers square. So as part of the learning curve, we are also putting as part of the 50 megawatt the solar PV on its reservoir. We are anticipating to have an initial uh, one megawatt, which we scale to five megawatts on the re uh, reservoir. We can do more, but then, like I said, it's for us to understand and see the processes that goes through, and now we can also, one, come out with the best technology or construction method, two, reduce cost. It covers an area of roughly for the one megawatt under two acres. This type of funnel we are using is the bifacial. The one we saw on the land has only one face. But believe me, when, when you are done and you see it, it, it will be a nice sight. First of its kind in Ghana, first of its kind in West Africa. For Joy News,